Wall, I'm our Facts of Mars. And Doug Jones was a commie liberal with the help of Washington Compost, Cannibal News Network, and so on. It's pulled off an upset victory over Justice Roy Moore. Um, and I want to address this. I want to address the sexual harassment accusations stuff, not just about uh, Justice Moore, but in general. Now, there used to be, used to be normal interactions, flirtatious interactions between men and women back in the good old days. You know, we used to be close dancing. And they used to be playful. I, I remember when I was in college, you know, boyfriend would have his head on girlfriend's lap or vice versa. There was a lot of playful, flirty interactions like that. But all that's gone. And we have you liberals and SJWs to blame. You're the ones that are trying to eliminate the normal, playful interactions that have always existed since the beginning of time between men and women. By and large, I think you've succeeded. Frankly, I don't... I uh, really don't see it anymore. A lot, of, a lot of guys like myself are called MGTOWs. MGTOW is a, an informal acronym that stands for men going their own way. Alright, I'll put that on hold, hopefully. Ah, uh, and one of the reasons this is happening is, and frankly, a lot of men are just afraid to interact with women at all unless they're taking orders from them. Now, there was a movie, and I'm going to have to look this movie up because I'm, I've forgotten a lot of the content. It was called Planet Earth, and yes, it was a science fiction movie. But in that movie, the men were called dinks. And they existed only for work and I think for procreation. Don't quote me on the second part. But artifacts of science fiction, they'll never happen. Well, don't be too sure. Don't be too sure it won't happen. We're already halfway there. How can I say that? Well, you see, in our schools today, young boys are routinely kept drugged, so they can't act like young boys. It is the fact that young boys are going to behave differently than girls. It's just the way it is. They're kept drugged, just like the dinks in that movie, Planet Earth. Kind of a really predictive movie, in my opinion. Now, what's happening, going to happen here, and what is happening is, this is biting you people on the rear end. For the men, it means you're not going to be able to interact in any kind of playful manner with women anymore. Because you're going to be, once you have one finger pointing at you, you're screwed for life. You don't even dare interact, talk to me. I barely, frankly, I'm afraid to say anything more than hi. Um, how's it going? You can say that much. But I'm afraid to say anything else. And that's going to bite a lot of women. Great work comes because they're going to say, they're going to wonder, you know, how is it all these men? simply ignoring us. Well, you got your answer. It's you SJWs that are destroying normal interactions between men and women that have existed since the beginning of time. I'm not talking about real sexual harassment where 
some dirtbag says, all right, get on the couch or you don't get a job. That, okay, that's real sexual harassment. But there's a playfulness that used to go on between men and women, and that's pretty much been eliminated now. And now every uh, male in a position of power is under attack. He doesn't even dare speak to a woman hardly. See, in that movie, I remember, I think it was that movie, uh, Planet Earth. The guy's in the elevator and uh, there's you know, two or three women they are freaking out. And they're freaking out and saying, hey, he might attack us. I forget the exact details. It's been a long time since I've seen that. I'd say we're about two, halfway to three quarters of the way there already. Yeah, it's science fiction, but it's predictive. A lot like Star Trek was. And at some point, this is going to, this is starting to bite uh, you people on the rear end. Because you can't, you can't have it both ways. You can't suppress natu natural social interactions that go on the way you're doing it, and then turn around and sit there and say, well, we want to have normal relations between men and women. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way. There's a playfulness, you know, flirtationist, flirtation type behavior that's always going on. And I think a lot of men are just going to basically clam up and not even try to interact with women because they're afraid they're going to get screwed. And I don't mean that in a good sense. Poor choice of words on my part. So, well, this is a grave you SJWs are digging for yourselves. Well, at some point, women are going to turn around and say, Hey, why aren't any guys talking to us? It's because of this kind of crap where male after male is being accused of this and that and something else. And being accused of sexual harassment. And they're afraid even, you know, hey, I like your... That's a nice skirt you're wearing, you know, where'd you get it? Can't do that no more. You get thrown in the goddamn hoose scout. But that's the world that you people have made for yourselves. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Where's this going to lead? I shudder to think. But, uh, I do know one thing. There's an old story. Really, it's kind of a parable. And it's told different ways. So, don't think for a minute, minute that this is the only version of it. This is my own version, basically. So, listen to the story, and I'll give you an idea. A young Indian boy was walking along the river. And he's getting ready to cross all the side. It's not a very deep river, but let's say he comes up to his knees. When he comes upon Rattlesnake, and Rattlesnake says, Hey, can you give me a ride? You know, I, I really can't swim over the other side of the river. Can you give me a ride over there? And the Indian boy says, uh, no, I can't, because if I do, you'll bite me, and I'll die. And the snake says, no, no, no. I won't bite you. You you won't die. I'll behave myself. You know, I really need to ride over there. I can't swim to the other side. So the Indian boy says, no, no, I, I really can't do that, because... I just know you're going to bite me if I do, and I'm going to die. But the snake persists and says, 
No, honestly, honestly, I'll just love you. I won't bite you. Please, take me to the other side. So the Indian boy relents and picks a snake up and starts crossing the river. He gets three quarters of the way across and the snake bites him. He stumbles to the shore and as the snake sl slithers away, he says, Why did you bite me? You said you wouldn't bite me. He said, the snake says, you knew what I was. You knew what my nature was. But you carried me across the river anyway. So I bit you. That's the world you, uh, SJWs have made for yourselves. And you're going to, you're getting bit right on the rump by the snake. And that's all I got to say. Carrying the snake across the river, and you know you got bit. Because this is only going to get worse. And it'll get to the point where most men are going to fear even to talk to a woman. I am Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.